So now we've let this primer dry. It actually started drying in, in about an hour. And there was quite a few really light spots, so we actually just rolled a second coat of this primer on there to make sure it's fairly even. Now we're ready to actually put our top coat on. It's the next day, and we're gonna be rolling it with our very vibrant purple now. So now we got it all masked off, just use some frog tape doing the masking. Now we're gonna set up our roller in here and begin doing the rolling and the cutting. So we're gonna be using, in here because it's a small room, small area, we're just gonna be using an extension pole, nine inch roller with a three inch inch nap, and then we're gonna be doing our cut-ins with either a four inch roller or a three inch roller, and then a two and a half inch angle sash brush or a three and a half inch angle sash brush, or three inch, there we go. One of the first things we got to do when we're painting these colors, it's we're going to be using two gallons to paint this bathroom and being this very vibrant purple, it's extremely critical, uh, you can see the purple right here, it's extremely critical to actually box these gallons and that means mix these two gallons together. So we're going to just box them into a five gallon bucket right here and stir that up and then begin pour it into our nine inch pan and our cut-in bucket. So we're working right along, we're gonna be working one wall at a time. And as you can see, it's really important to do your cut-ins. Got two people working on this, one person doing the cut-ins and one person doing the rolling. And we actually got two cut-in buckets so we can, uh, two people can be doing cut-ins, but we're working wall to wall and you don't want those cut-ins to dry before you start rolling it. And so it's really critical that not one person get ahead of each other because you gotta keep a wet edge from your cut-ins to your rolling and your rolling overlapping has gotta keep a wet edge. It's very important with these deep vibrant colors that it stays sopping wet and you keep a wet edge. And then you can see as we're, I'm working down the line, I'm uh, back rolling it and laying it out from top to bottom, keeping my back rolling consistent, not um, doing the opposites from you know, bottom to top or top. I'm always staying this, I'm doing these walls and doing this, ba this bathroom. I'm doing my layout from top to bottom. And, and as I'm laying it out, I'm keeping, my nap facing and you know uh, the same direction every time too you don't want to be flipping your nap over in the opposite direction as you're doing your layout either because that can actually change the color of the paint to your layout and keeping a wet edge is extremely important when you're working with these colors
So we're just cruising right along the painting. We masked the thing once again with frog tape. I'm using just a clear caulking because even with the frog tape and this uh, deep, ultra deep color that's so vibrant, it's very watery. It's going to bleed through that frog tape in areas. So just adding the clear caulking is just another. Um, another method of just ensuring that no paint gets through that and bleeds underneath that tape.